Thank you. Um, we're going to hear from, um, from Rachel Pattis, who is with the Beautiful Solutions Project. She's going to talk for a couple seconds, a couple minutes. You can have more than a couple seconds, seconds. minutes, whatever. <laughs> Hi, everybody. How's everybody doing? Good? Yeah, can we, can we have one more big round of applause for these amazing panelists? Thank you so much for all of the stories that you shared. Um, it's been incredible to sit out there and listen. Uh, so my name is Rachel Plattis. Um, I'm the co-editor of a new partnership with This Changes Everything called Beautiful Solutions, which as of today, you can find at solutions.thischangeseverything.org. Beautiful Solutions is a platform that pulls together a ton of great ideas about how to build the world we want. And it's also an invitation to those of you who are already building that world uh, to share your solutions. Eventually, it will be an online platform, a book, and a training program to disseminate the most promising and contagious strategies for transforming our political economy and building a just, democratic, and resilient world. I'm up here because I believe that showing up at the People's Climate March is critical. I believe that sitting in on Wall Street on Monday is critical. <laughs> Showing up for the march, though, is a true or false question with an easy answer. Show up, feel the power of this movement. So here's the essay question. Wait for it. What are we gonna do when we get home? If understanding that the climate crisis is a crisis of capitalism really changes everything, we should feel it deep in our bodies beyond the rush of being with hundreds of thousands of people in the street, although that's gonna be pretty great. We should feel it when we fight for the solutions as much as when we fight against the problems. We should feel it when we hear the stories of those who have been most affected by climate change, building real alternatives stories these panelists told and that you'll read about in Naomi's book. We should feel it when we see the Greek people of Thessaloniki fighting against the privatization of their water supply by proposing a common sense solution to democratically steward this vital common resource. We should feel it when we see a decades-long legal fight culminating in the Wanganui River in New Zealand being granted the rights of a person, because surely rivers have just as much claim on personhood as corporations. And we should feel it just up the Metro North Line in my hometown of New Haven, where an ocean farmer named Brendan Smith is through a network of cooperatives growing shellfish and seaweed for food, biofuel, and fertilizer without use of fresh water or other inputs, making it one of the most sustainable forms of food production on the planet. By the way, Brendan's boat is leaving at 5 a.m. tomorrow, and the boat is coming up here for the climate march. <laughs> These three stories about our relationship to water are just a few of the thousands of solutions that we're all building around the world. And the Beautiful Solutions team hopes that you will ask what it means to be in solidarity with this work from Greece, New Zealand, and New Haven to Detroit, West Virginia, and here in New York. That you will learn from these innovators and the ancient wisdom that inspires them to act. And that you will visit the Idea Lab on our website to add your own solutions. We should never have to ask the question, what can I do? When everything changes, there's plenty to do. It starts with a recognition that deepening participation in our communities is connected to reclaiming our democracy and lifting up the voices of those on the front lines is connected to taking back our land and water and food and energy sources is connected to the celebration of life lived through relationships and art and culture more than consumption is connected to being resilient in the face of crisis and expanding inclusion, equity and justice everywhere is connecting us to one another and giving us the strength and the solutions to address the climate crisis. So in closing, I just invite all of you to think about this question. What are you going to do when you get home? Thank you. <laughs>